Hello again. In this video we will be discussing multi-state objects, some of which include multi-state switch and word lamps. So let's get started. So let's start out with a multi-state switch. Uh, this object has different options. Number one, we've got a read-write address. Uh, you can select read and write from different addresses. Uh, so right now we're just going to leave it at LW0. Um, you can enable or disable the systolic function. Uh, if you disable it, it's really no more than uh, really a word set object set to jog plus. Uh, we can enable that though and um, and we can either jog up to the number of state limits or jog down and it will restart if we're jogging up at zero or restart at four in this case if we're jogging down. So just kind of do a circular deal there. We can set a notification if the write is successful. So for right now I'm just going to click OK, put this object here, and I'm going to put a uh, numeric display object also so we can see our values that we're writing. So uh, let's go ahead and run an uh, offline simulation. So here you can see every time we click it, it jogs till we get up to four, zero to four, that's five states. And then it goes back to zero. Now if this were a jog down, it would start at four and go down to zero and then back to four. Now with the multi-state switch, we've also got another pretty cool function here. We can do a user-defined mapping so I'm going to go ahead and uh, change this to uh, eight states. Select user defined mapping and click settings. And uh, so I can define the value for each state. So I'm going to do uh, 0, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32 and 64 and I'm going to go ahead and put some uh, bit lamps up here and you'll notice that I am addressing to an LW bit 0 0 0 which is the first bit in LW 0 And I'm going to use our handy multi-copy tool here, and I'm going to make uh, 8 uh, with an offset of 1. So now I can go ahead and run an offline simulation. Pretty nifty, huh? So um, anyway, that's the way that works. And uh, so you could see how you could use this object to create like a uh, like a uh, hand off or uh, uh, you know hand off auto button. So if we were back to zero, so if you had uh, three states, you could do uh, off hand auto and you can arrange those values any way you want for so you can make any state you wanted off hand or auto and of course we've got great libraries that you can use for the different states so uh, let's go ahead and talk about the visuals 
on multi-state objects. Uh, we'll go to the shape tab and of course here you see we've got five states now so uh, we've got five different slots we could fill up with different visuals or even different labels. Uh, each state can have its own label so you can do it that way. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, the shapes now. Of course I'm sure you saw in previous videos how to make new uh, visual objects. So I'm just gonna throw something together real quick here. Uh, let me find some other things just to bring in. We'll go ahead and run a simulation. And you can see the image changes with whatever the predefined one was for the state. Pretty nifty. And uh, if we get past uh, where and it will display the last state uh, that you have. Uh, now we could also even put blank uh, states in there. So real quick, let's go ahead and look at a uh, word lamp. It's basically the same principle. Uh, we'll do uh, LW1. Say uh, three states. And uh, we'll go ahead and get our one we just made here with the three states. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and just address it the same as our multi-state switch, so I don't have to really do anything else. And you can see the lamp works the same way. And it's as simple as that. That's the basic concept of multi-state objects. Thanks for watching and be sure to come back and see more of our instructional videos.